my name is Brian Kelly, CEO of the Amazing Prison Entrepreneurship Program. Every year, 650,000 people get out of prison to re-enter a society they are ill-prepared to succeed in. In Texas alone, 45,000 people get out of prison and are overwhelmed with what they're going to encounter. The best sometimes that we can hope for is that they'll stand on the street corner holding a sign asking for money. The worst is they're going to re-enter a criminal cycle and go back to prison. Sadly, two thirds of those typically go back within three years, 75% within five years. But one organization is doing something different. One organization fosters hope through new education, new vision, and new community. The Prison Entrepreneurship Program brings in volunteers from the business community, people who have been successful in business and successful in life who come in to impact our guys, give them a new vision, a new set of lenses to see a new future and a new opportunity. There are some members here today of that community that I'd like to introduce you to. My name is Steve Heisner. I've been a New York Life agent for 33 years and a volunteer for the Prison Entrepreneurship Program for eight. We're here celebrating the fact that the New York Life Foundation has donated $50,000 to the Prison Entrepreneurship Program largely due to the work of Judy Ward, another New York Life agent, and also Stephen Fusillo, who put in all the hard labor to get this done. So this is the second donation that the New York Life Foundation has made to the Prison Entrepreneurship Program. Back in 2014, they donated $25,000. This is a really exciting day to be here, and I am really privileged to be able to do this. Um, 2020 has been just an awful year all around. And in addition to everything else that's gone on, this was also the 175th birthday of New York Life Insurance. New York Life has been around since 1845. Eons ago, New York Life set up a separate foundation that handles all the charitable giving. And to commemorate this 175th anniversary, the foundation decided it wanted to do something really big and really splashy. So here came COVID and it upended their plans just like it upended everybody else's plans. So the foundation pivoted and in late spring, they decided to roll out an initiative whereby they allowed financial advisors such as myself and Steve Heisner, we've both been joined at the hip to New York Life, for a number of years and, and New York Life employees throughout the country to nominate individuals who had made special significant contributions to their communities in response to the COVID crisis. In addition to that, they, they decided they were going to choose 35 of those nominees to be actually honorees of the foundation. And in honor of each of them, each honoree could name his or her nonprofit to receive a $50,000 grant from the New York Life Foundation. That's a pretty significant grant. It totals $1.75 million, which 175 years of birthday, you know, do the math. You can, you can connect the dots. Enter Stephen Fusile, who most of us executive volunteers have known for the last two, two and a half years is the guy that organizes the Sanders Estes monthly events where we go down and we interact with the prisoners in the PEP program and give the feedback on their uh, developing business plans. Stephen is just an oversized personality and he does so well with the prisoners themselves because he, is one, he was one of them. He is also a PEP graduate and proud to admit it. Back at the end of March, there was a newscast, a news story on several of the TV, local TV stations about a group of artists working out of a cooperative uh, artist workspace. And when, all, when COVID forced all the spring art shows to shut down, the, several of these artists put together a plan to convert their artist space into a manufacturing workspace so that they could manufacture clear plastic face shields that could be reused, that were people were clamoring for all over the United States. And who was leading this charge but Stephen Fusile. Now, I can assure you, none of us had a clue that Stephen was a, an accomplished artist. That was something totally new to us. But Stephen spearheaded this. He gathered 
75 local volunteers secured new machinery to run this production line. And by mid-May, this group had manufactured 28,000 clear shield face masks, of which 7,000 had been donated to first responders, Dallas police and firefighters, uh, Fort Worth first responders, Parkland Hospital employees that desperately in need of them and several others. When Steve Heisner and I found out about the New York Life Foundation initiative, we immediately put our heads together and decided to co-nominate Stephen Fusil to be one of the honorees. And Stephen immediately jumped in and said, if he were chosen to be one of those 75, or one of the 35 chosen, that he wanted his $50,000 donation to go to PEP. Well, a few weeks ago, we were notified that indeed, out of 130 total nominations across the country, Stephen was picked as one of the, the honorees. Hi, my name is Stephen Fusil, and uh, it's a real honor to be able to nominate PEP for the New York Life uh, Foundation Award. Um, when Judy called me about this, uh, it was really exciting and uh, I was on a, about to be on a trip to New Mexico after working hard to get this project done and take a little time off. And uh, she really pushed and pushed to uh, make sure that we had the opportunity to get this done and to execute with Steve and for PEP. And so I just really wanna thank Judy Ward for her uh, efforts to really make this happen. And so she was the driver behind most of this. Um, I was lucky enough to run into a group of friends that allowed us to find a way to do something special in a hard time um, and apply the love that I learned from being a member of the Prison Entrepreneurship Program and take that into action. And that's what this word's about. Um, we took an idea that we could create a difference with something and then, you know, ended up making 35,000 face shields and donated them to churches and uh, all kinds of different uh, uh, entities that were in need, uh, hair salons, hospitals, uh, clinics and dentists and everybody that was in need of protection. We were able to provide that for them. So um, 35,000 people were helped and $50,000 was earned for PEP for just doing a little bit of action. So it sounds like the math worked out pretty well. Um, very excited to be uh, honored here today and to offer Brian Kelly and the Prison Entrepreneurship Program a nice check. It is amazing the transformations that happen through the Prison Entrepreneurship Program. You've seen an example with Stephen today. There are many more like him, hundreds, thousands of lives that have been turned around because of what we're doing. We will dive down into the prisons and go meet them, roll up our sleeves and make a difference uh, to transform lives, restore families and rebuild communities. Uh, people like New York Life have seen the great work that we're doing and stepped in and said, we want to stand alongside you. We want to help you do the great work that you're doing. We've got big designs on doing even more and we're looking forward to that. And so if you would like to help us out, we'd love to have you alongside us. We are uh, transforming lives. It is amazing work that's going on in the Prison Entrepreneurship Program. Thank you. Everybody.